No eyebrows. Unibrow. Unibrow. Why? You just shave the center. Why not? That's pathetic. Drink five ounces of vodka by nose or drink hot sauce by nose. I've had a Carolina Reaper, so this would just be easy straight. Really? Really? Damn, that's a good question. Always Chinese, always Mexican. But here's the thing, they're both from buffets. So you're not going to Chipotle and you're not going to Taco Bell. And I don't know about you, but any place that's a buffet of Mexican has always been horrible. So Chinese food. Would you rather see how you die or see who you will marry? Um, I'm gonna say see how you die. Oh, come on, that's f***ing lame. Would you rather live an extra 25 years or live a life without the need to sleep? Well, in the time that you skip sleep, maybe six and a half hours of sleep, that's my average, I'm fine with that. If I get more than seven, it's a rare occasion, and if I sleep more than eight, I'm probably gonna feel worse than if I had sleep deprivation. This reminds me of that question, if you win the lottery, do you take the lump sum now, or do you take the installments? You take the payments over time. And I'm thinking the, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a little, little calculations here. I sleep on average, what's the expected age? 73? But we're not gonna have social security for my generation. We're gonna hit uh, retirement age and then and then just die. I'll start to go to the office and be like, I'd like to collect it now. <sighs> um, They got rid of that like half a century ago, old man. <laughs> 73 years times 365 days a year forever. I'm not going to account for leap year. It's not going to be that accurate. Deal with it. So that's 26,000 days. Okay, divided by... So, if I live to be 73 years old, if I followed my own math correctly, I get 18 years. If I live longer than that, possibly more. 25, 18. That's, that's my options here. Live 25 guaranteed or 18 or more based on my my life, because I'm, I'm not going to live to be in 100. <laughs> Let's just be honest. And how much of those 25 years are you going to be sleeping? I'm not going to do the math for it. I've wasted way too much time thinking this one. Live life without the need to sleep. Live until 80 in poverty. Live until 40 in riches. This would be your total lifespan, and you wouldn't be able to get around it with money. Interesting. It's like, oh, you're, you're 40 now. Happy birthday, and then they just cut my head off. I just live till 80, and then I die poor, so I'm forever poor. Oh, f*** it, I'm, <laughs> yeah, live. Probably gonna die on cocaine or something, that's, it's a rich life. You have to. Don't blame me, blame society. Be a cat, be, well, a dog. Dog, every day of the week. You know why? The ugliest dog beats the cutest cat. Get gas every time you are around the sex that you are attracted to. Well, I'm always farting. I always fart. I always have gas. What is it? You you can fart 78 times or something and lose a pound? You, you burn so many calories per fart? I feel like the gas thing wouldn't be... That wouldn't be bad. Would you rather be James Bond or Jason Bourne? So, James Bond, 007 British Secret Service agent, Versus Jason Bourne, a loud mouth with a gun who just runs around and, and the government's trying to bring him down. Do I got that right? Is this really debatable? Is this a question? Would you rather? Of course. Uh, Jason Bourne. <laughs> Watch your favorite movie on repeat for a full day. Watch Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist once. Um, I've done that before. So you have a very prestigious... Oscar, which is handed out to directors and actors, and but a Nobel Prize means you actually did something. Yeah, Nobel Prize. Win the lottery, live twice as long. Well, if I'm gonna live to 73, that means I live 146 years. That's that's too much. And plus, I'm supposed to be rich and die at 40. So we're gonna win the lottery. Thank you very much. Kill one innocent person to save a thousand people. Kill 100 enemy soldiers. 
to save one innocent person. Uh, I can go Spock, or I can just go genocidal maniac. Like, why exactly? Am I am I just slaughtering people? Well, if I'm saving a thousand people versus just one guy in a video game, you're gonna kill a hundred people. In reality, you're you're not gonna kill a hundred people to save one person. I would headshot that innocent person. Be attacked by 50 duck-sized horses. Be attacked by one horse-sized duck. I gotta be honest. I'd rather be attacked by 50 duck-sized horses. I wouldn't even be angry, that would just be funny. If you could only do one of these in your lifetime, would you rather find true love, cure cancer? It's about give and take and compromise. Who matches your crazy best? You're, you're not gonna. You have to put yourself out there and hope for the best. And if it doesn't work out, you, you don't get hung up on it. You find the right person. You know. You just know. Cure cancer. More realistic. Oh my gosh. What, what's love? It, it's because of my previous answer, wasn't it? It's like, oh, you don't like love. I'm gonna make you love things. Would you rather be married to someone that doesn't love you or be married? To someone that you don't love. Hmm. How good is the tax write-off that you had to have this marriage? So, be a cuck or get cucked. Rather than waking up and she's like, here I am waking up to you. Still in my house. And I would be, I love you. And then she'd be like, hmm, I know you do. So I'll say that. Yeah, that makes sense. Would you rather, would you rather, be chased by a hundred rabid squirrels through a flat open plain, go down 200 feet slide completely made out of ice head first with your shirt off? Not my nipples. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Be Aquaman? I, I don't even care. I don't even have to read this. What this is gonna be over here. I don't even have to read the secondary option. Because Aquaman is not, not a superhero. superhero. He's, He's a, a loser. loser. He talks to fish. Would you rather eat a pine cone, eat an acorn? Acorn, you could just... Next, stupid questions. If you were blind, would you rather be able to hear perfectly with perfect precision, or be able to see use a very painful eye corrective drop to be applied every hour? I'm not like Ben Affleck in uh, Daredevil where it's like echolocation and every time someone farts it lights up the whole alleyway and he can start doing flips and shit. I like the game. I like to watch things. That sounded so wrong. Being able to see. Really? Really? You would like this? This? This is what you want. I can hear my tower. It's the fan. The fan's still spinning. I can hear that. What's the next one? Would you rather? I'm blind. This is what you want. 78% people want this. 78%. But I can hear perfectly. Pay to see a female comedian be paid the same amount to be slapped 10 times in the face. What's the difference? <laughs> um, I'd rather see a comedian Really? So on one hand, you have the atrocious act of incest and in making out with your cousin versus having terrible fashion choice. The same terrible fashion choice for the rest of your life. And you never take it off, so unhygienic. You can't use the restroom. You can't have sex. I mean, unless you just kind of like opened it, but that would be technically taking them off. So you, you have to like kind of your, your cutoff shorts are now a diaper, a very ineffective diaper, versus just make out with your cousin, which I assume is once. Man, how do you, how do you make incest appealing? You don't. I guess I'm, I'm gonna be a, a incontinent redneck. Come on! Would you rather travel the world confined to a wheelchair or spend your whole life in the same 200 mile radius. I've been doing that one. Would you rather be unable to experience sadness, be, be unable, 
Well, I, I gotta be pissed. I don't care about sadness. I, I mean, my, I, my two emotions are indifferent and anger. Would you rather be depressed all the time or pissed off? I've heard some studies have said that people that are constantly angry live longer, which probably makes them even angrier. So they live even longer. So they're practically immortal. But to never experience sadness, right? Like your dog dies, you're just like, damn, that pisses me off. Now I gotta dig a ditch. Or I could just toss it out the freeway. Just, no, no sadness. I love anger. That's, that's my, that's my go-to emotion. Always disappoint people. <laughs> or always anger people. <laughs> this, this is your parents, right? Think about this. They say, I'm not angry, but I am disappointed. Do you care at that point? Does that mean something? I'm not angry. I am disappointed. No. If my girlfriend killed me, I would feel betrayed. If my friend killed me, I'd be like, yeah, that's about right. I kind of expected that. So killed by my best friend. Kill a unicorn in front. Yes, yes. I don't even care what the other one is. It's a unicorn. And there's thousands of children around it. And then there's me, this psychopath that just runs in and kills it. Probably with my bare hands. And I just, I just... I just choke its life out of existence right in front of them all. What a weird question. But thank you. Yeah. Unicorn. If you were given the responsibility, would you rather inform a room of first grade students that their favorite pets have died tragically, explain to a room of first grade students how sex works in graphic details? Oh man, this sounds like my pastime. I, I want to be that memory of every child that crushes your dreams. Santa Claus doesn't exist. Neither does the Tooth Fairy. Your parents are liars. This takes it up a notch. It's both emotionally scarring, shattering their existence and saying, hey, you, your pets are all dead and they died miserably. I feel like that would be the better way to go. I mean, that's, that's, that's a tough one. Would you rather watch your parents be murdered in front of you? Murder the parents of another family in front of their children. What's with, what's with the in front of the children? There's a theme here, isn't there? If I murder the parents of a family in front of their children, does that child go on to become Batman? So watch my parents be killed or create Batman? Batman. Go to prison for five years, get punched hard in the face every hour of every day for five years. What's the difference? Well, you get punched in the face every hour of every day for five years versus going to prison and getting punched in, in the prostate every hour for five years. Hmm, that's tempting. I'm gonna say get punched in the face. Be ugly and rich, be attractive and poor. Be ugly and rich. Plastic surgery, or just not caring because you're so f rich. Lead a boring life from here forward. My life now. Reborn with all your memories into a baby of the opposite sex. If I had all my memories, then I'm still the same person. And if I'm still me, then I can come back and pick up where I left off, but a longer life. But with succulent breasts. Nah, I like my dick. Moving on. Oh, come on. Have a lover who only speaks on Mondays. Have a lover who only speaks in Pig Latin. What's the difference? I gotta stop doing that. Uh, speaks on Mondays, because, you know, bitch, you don't need to be talking that much. You know what I'm saying? Eat your hands and feet, eat your whole dad. Who wrote this? Uh, I guess I ate my dad. Goodbye, father. I'm sorry. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. It really helps support the channel. And, uh, I guess I'll see you next time, huh? That's the outro, bitch!